All right, so today we want to repair the seat in this MG ZS 2001 and like a lot of MGs this leather has uh, had a cut started off with a split and a whole chunk has been taken out of it surface is worn out stitching has also come apart so what I want to do is get this cover off replace it with uh, a patch which I think I can remove from the front of the seat this bit down here and replace that with um, some leatherette that a uh, lot is uh, which doesn't have to have a uh, good color match because you don't see it really down there of course this will then match the color of the side seat so the first job is to try and work out how to get the whole cover off and to do that we need to remove the back of the seat so this back piece of plastic is clipped in you can see one of the clips down here and we have we've uh, pushed this whole cover as much to the left as we can pulled it out and unclipped these pieces of uh, plastic from a nylon band that goes around the back so hopefully now we can push this section to the right and do the same thing on this side so for this bottom edge it's particularly tricky you have to pull out the side and I just managed to release one of the clips but you have to try and get in and release this clip poking with a screwdriver and try and leave it in between the plastic and the metalwork and uh, I was lucky this managed to pop out and you can see the construction of the clip there and just mode doing that now on the other side and then having released the two bottom ones you can pull down to release the top see those constructions and here we can see how all of the seat clips go on should help you remove your own. I was lucky with this one, somebody had previously broken trying to get it off. And now to remove the seat cover, we need to release all of these material catches around the bottom and peel it back as much as possible. All right, that's allowed us to pull the seat cover from underneath the seat, pull it out forwards, as you can see here. So it allows us to get access to underneath for stitching in a new patch and Interestingly, there's quite a bit that uh, actually is going under the seat out of sight and goes around underneath. It's actually big enough to use as a patch for the sides. So uh, what we'll do is take this patch out, replace it by just a piece of general purpose, different colour leatherette. Colour mismatch doesn't matter because it's out of sight. And use this one for patching in at the sides. Next you take a scalpel and cut through the threads to open up these seams and remove the uh, worn out patch and we're going to join it at about that sort of height to take out all the worn part. So now we've cut out the leather that's worn out and we've cut the bottom piece off the seat cover and we can see that's the right size to cut the right the same size section out that we need to uh, refit in there. Um, possibly with some leftover bits, we might have to patch the bit on the corner as well. And that's the replacement piece of leatherette, a slightly different colour, to replace that piece that we cut out of the bottom of the seat. And the, the plastic um, catches have been re-sewed on. Simple bit of sewing, in and out, in and out, tie a knot at one end before we start. And then we re-sew that in place. And that can then be our spare piece of leather, out of which we cut a new piece of a seat cushion. Alright, that's our new piece of leather next to the old piece of leather. Notice we made it quite a lot longer on the end, so that we can both fold over the old uh, piece of leather that's still on the seat and have a fold to do a stitched join between the two pieces. And I've also ripped off the foam that was on the back and we're going to glue that to the back of this new piece of leather to give it the same sort of feel um, all over the seat. So then we stitch the bottom piece of leatherette onto the bottom of the seat starting from the middle working your way out to keep it even, keep it even on both sides like so. Just stitch in and out. This is a piece cut out the side with the hole in and I'm going to borrow a piece of leather from the other seat bottom, the passenger seat and that sort of position just about cut out the piece 
that's just about big enough and I'm going to do the same thing replace that with a piece of uh, leatherette on the passenger side as well. And that is the replacement leatherette patch put in on the passenger seat. This time I decided just to cut out a patch out of the middle. Uh, you don't see it anyhow. And actually the leatherette is a reasonable match colour wise with the original leather. And uh, of course always sew from the back, but the two pieces of material together like that. Sew in and out, likewise around there. And let's see how it fits. And there we are with the passenger seat uh, cover refitted on the back. And that little bit there is the piece of leatherette. And as I say, you can't really see that uh, that's any different to original. All right, that's the patches sewed in from the underside with the black thread, as you can see. And now we turn it inside out. Of course, what we've got to do now is the blue thread, which is a very neat job. Don't underestimate the amount of time it takes to do all this sewing. Originally, it would have been done by machine, and the whole cover would have been taken off, which you can do. Might save time overall, but I decided uh, not to. But it does take a long time to do it by hand. Back to the new piece of leatherette that we put on there, even though it matches the original leather quite well, is completely out of sight because uh, this above my hand is the only bit that is the replacement leatherette and that's completely covered by the backrest. Okay, so that's the seat refitted and restitched. Uh, it's the first time I'm doing this. Not a fantastic job, but um, better than it was at least. And so what's been changed is this whole section is a new piece of leather that came from the leather that's actually underneath the seat and uh, stretches this um, part of the cover round to the back. It's completely invisible, so I borrowed that. I replaced the bottom bit with um, a piece of leather that I had, but it could be anything because you can't actually see it. So that's a new patch. And this whole section down to the bottom is also a new patch that actually came from the passenger seat uh, in order to get enough of the leather. Uh, so it's a bit of a learning exercise trying to get these uh, stitches and obviously, obviously as you can see they're uh, not um, as uh, the same as the original stitching but as I say it's better than it was and from a distance at least it's not hugely noticeable that you've got a tear in the seat and it is at least leather of the same colour that's been replaced this hopefully will uh, get back to a rather smooth finish after it's been sat on a few times do with a bit of leather care on it um, I think my stitching was gradually improving as I was uh, doing it but it's very very difficult to get perfect straight lines like they do on the original seats and very time consuming so I've been doing this probably most of the day quite a lot of hand stitching involved but uh, well as I say, better than it was. And it should make the seat last a bit longer. And we used a very similar approach to put this patch in on a Freelander seat uh, with um, just plain material seats to again take the cover off. Uh, the patch to get this sort of material actually came from the back seat. So actually hard to see here but let me get in see if we can show it's basically a section in between the two rear seats so it's a split folding rear seat and there's a section down here we are just about see it is actually I've changed to leatherette it's coming out a bit dark and just about see this section in between the seats in between the seats I've changed to leatherette and taken the same pattern material to repair the front seat and so that bit in between the seats you don't actually see and it's exactly the same pattern match for the front seat uh, they're not fantastically uh, professional but a lot better than the previously torn ripped and worn out section that was uh, on here uh, which is where they're always uh, prone to go I uh, could use the same approach to uh, do the bolsters but um, they don't seem to go so much and 
on a reasonable distance at least makes the seat look a lot better.